Okay, hey guys again, this is Crawl again. Uh, I've just finished recording you know, my last video presentation for this ship. I cannot believe that I actually forgot to show you guys the ship flying around, okay? Uh, I showed you flying in a straight line, but that's not the same. I want to actually fly the ship and turn and maneuver it a little bit just to show you guys that it's not actually it's I mean it's actually not that bad flying that ship despite its weight and size and the fact that it doesn't have the best acceleration so I'm rolling to the right right now I'm just gonna go around that asteroid right there So yeah, I am drifting, but not that much. And I'm I'm maintaining, you know, speed close to 20 meters a second even as I'm turning. Now, of course, if you're going to be moving at 50 meters a second, then you're going to be drifting a lot more because those thrusters on the side uh, they're not going to be enough to uh, to make the ship turn fast if you're moving at 50 meters a second or more chances are that you're gonna have to just release the gas let your dampeners do their thing and then start accelerating after you turn but it's not that bad and since it's an exploration ship you know you don't you don't need speed what you need with an exploration ship is a ship that's gonna allow you to travel very long distances without burning energy like crazy and that is what these solar panels are for all over the ship they're there to reduce power consumption from your reactors and once you run out of uranium if you run out of uranium if you make bad decisions and end up running out of uranium then you turn on the batteries the solar panels are going to reduce the energy consumption from the batteries which is in turn gonna make your batteries last longer so that was my main goal is to build a ship that's gonna take you you know into space for months without having to worry about running out of energy to power up the ship this is what the ship is built for this is what it was designed for uh, so maneuverability is important when you're flying a ship that you plan to take into battle and uh, you know ac good acceleration also it's used for ships that are there to fight or e mining ships maybe depending on the size of your mining ship uh, maneuverability and speed are important for certain situations yes but for a ship such as this one a huge exploration ship speed is not that important because okay it's gonna take you maybe a minute maybe a minute and a half to reach top speed if you do want to reach top speed but then once you do reach top speed you're just gonna keep going in that one direction until you see something of interest and then you're gonna slow down and maneuver towards it but until you actually find something of interest you don't need to change directions all the time and if you do change directions all the time you're not gonna be getting anywhere you're just gonna you know fly in circle and whatever so uh... and like I said uh, I prefer having heavy armor on that ship at the sacrifice or at the cost of maneuverability and speed rather than using light armor and then being super vulnerable if you encounter hostile uh, ships during your travels. So as you can see the ship is fine if you're flying uh, you know around 20 meters a second maneuverability is fine 
if you're flying, you know, I'd say above 30, 35 meters a second, then you're gonna drift a lot while trying to turn. So I would definitely recommend just let your dampener, let your front dampeners slow your ship down to 20 meters a second or less before you start turning. Because if you try and turn at 35 or more meters a second, you're just gonna drift forever. What's, it's gonna seem like you're drifting forever. It's not gonna be forever. Eventually you're actually gonna turn, but uh, the ship's gonna be a lot harder to maneuver. So anyway, uh, to be honest, I'm the kind of guy that loves immersion and having such a heavy ship, to me, it's more immersive. Uh, having a ship that feels like it's so light that it's made out of cardboard is not very immersive for me. Though I do have to admit that my next ship build will be made out of light armor. Uh, this was my first time building a ship in creative mode. Every other ship that I have... Um, hang on... Okay, yeah, that that little fruit fly that's from my survival game so it was built in survival golem my uh, mining ship was built in survival that utility hovering platform which I used to move stuff around in my survival game once again it was built in survival Lazarus which is a small fighter ship was built in survival phantom another small fighter ship built in survival so uh, all of my other ships, which you've seen them all right there, they were all built in survival. This is the only ship that I ever built in creative, so I'm quite happy with the result. And uh, my next ship will also be built in creative and will be a light armored ship. It's going to be a large ship again, probably... Uh, somewhat similar to this one, but it's going to be made of light armor. It's going to be like a light armor var variable uh, or light armor alternative to this one anyway. So if you like this one, you're probably going to like the other one because it's going to be very similar, only it's going to be made out of light armor. So it's going to be more, uh, more maneuverable and faster. So uh, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to show you guys uh, me flying around a bit with the ship and uh, explaining giving tips and tricks to uh, maneuver it better so uh, hopefully that was helpful and uh, see you guys later